one thing that annoys me, I would say, for like, I guess like the naysayers, um, mm. is people will say, you know, this artist blew up like this, you know, and then it's something like Lil Nas X. So this artist, right. this artist released like three songs, and then he's like a, one of the biggest artists on the planet. And it's like, you know, this artist, like Billie Eilish, dropped one album, and she's one of the biggest artists on the planet. Those like, they're either like in Billie Eilish's case, I would say exceptionally talented, but also incredibly connected. Right. Um, their their parents gave them a hundred thousand dollar budget, like instead of sending them to college, they gave them a hundred grand each to like kickstart their careers. And also, they're incredibly so, talented, and they grew up in a house where they were like bred to make music. You know, essentially, like like weak. I don't think like a lot artists shouldn't assume that you know they're gonna they're gonna be the exception. You know? Right. And a lot I'm of just waiting people, for my hundred k check from my parents. <laughs> <laughs> right it's not like even having 100k guarantees anything but like it's um oh dude the first second you hear billy eilish's voice you're like this is special but, yeah and like her her brother too was like really really good at production and you watch his videos and you kind of get the sense that like this guy might actually be like a genius <laughs> you know just hearing him talk about his production it's so simple and it works super well and yeah um either way like they've been it's I, I see people who feel like they should blow up within six months with only a couple songs out and like that happens, but like it's such a tiny, tiny fraction that thinking mm -hmm. that that's going to be you is just like delusion. I know some artists with, you know, a couple million monthly listeners in Spotify or a couple hundred thousand and all the ones I know with over a million have been doing it for at least over a decade. You know? Yeah. And, and even the ones with a couple hundred thousand, like I know one guy has been doing music full time for two decades, mm. and, and like he's got a big audience and he, he's been living off of his music for two decades. But like it's been a long grind, you know. And um, people watching this, like you, person watching this, might be one of the lucky few, um, but most of you will not. And that means you have to you have to play the what I think is the realistic game. It's kind of like. Just keep being as great as you can. Keep promoting your music and build an audience slowly over time. Um, maybe you will blow up with one of the songs. Um, I think the long game is the most realistic. Game.